Island and the mainland has been paralyzed after a train transporting 250,000 liters of petrol to Nairobi derailed at the Makupa Causeway. Firefighters are on the ground to keep residents at bay as other officials assess the impact of the, on the environment. And Hassan Mugambi will bring us that story a little bit later on. Now, the Kenya Red Cross continues to urge the residents of Tana River to move to higher ground after water levels hit the red mark on the Garissa Bridge. Already over 400,000 people have been displaced in Garissa by the Masiga Dam overflows. To get a more clearer picture on this, we're joined by Stephen Leto, who is at the Tana. Uh, Leto, what is the situation right now and what more information can you give us? Well, a very good afternoon to you there, Willis Raburu. Indeed, we continue to crisscross several parts of Tana River County. I we're trying to uh, guess because of the network issues there. We're going to try to link up with Stephen Leto a little bit later on, and he's going to give us an update, as we said, of what is going on in uh, the Tana River parts. Now, residents of Garissa and Tana River counties who live on the banks of Tana River have been urged to move to higher grounds to prevent loss of lives, livelihoods, and property. This is after the Water Resources Authority assessed the impact of the ongoing spillage at the Masinga and Kembera dams. Here's more on that story. It's this overflow and the aftermath of the course the water will take that is of concern. And in compliance with the regulations on water infrastructural works and flood mitigation, the Water Resources Authority, after visiting Masinga and Kambere dams to assess the impact of the spillage on communities living around the dams, have issued an alert warning residents to move to safer grounds. This is a lot of water. A lot of water. It can uh, bring a lot of damages to the to the properties, a lot of damage to the farms, a lot of damage now to even uh, human life. So we need people to be very careful and we are giving them a notice to go to the higher grounds. The residents in Garissa and Tana River counties have been urged to heed to the call. For years, the residents say they have never witnessed such force and magnitude of the water. They have lost so much property and farm produce. Now it's their lives they're protecting. <laughs> Water Resources Authority says it has initiated an assessment of all dams to ascertain their legal status, stability and safety, asking all owners of the dams to ensure that they have a permit, with those living along riverbanks being asked to move to safer grounds. But we are asking people to move away from the riverbanks. There's also every river, there's a riparian area. People to move the riparian area, areas which are preserved for, for, the, for, the, for the flooding. The rains continue to wreak havoc across the country as thousands remain displaced due to flooding. Masi Kandia Tanui, Citizen Live at One.